Hello and welcome. My name is Justus and today we will look at how to install Kirby CMS in under 5 minutes. If you don't know about Kirby CMS, it's a PHP-based flat file content management system that is both very easy to use and flexible for all kinds of web projects. You can have a look at more information about it in the link down below. To install Kirby, we will head over to the Kirby website. If you navigate to getkirby.com slash try, you can open up an instant online demo or choose between two local projects. The starter kit comes with a pre-built front end and content to explore, while the plain kit is best for starting a new project from scratch. Kirby can be installed on your computer in multiple ways and you can find out more about that in the docs, but the easiest way in my opinion is Laravel Hurt. As you can see there are two buttons to install Kirby with Hurt. Laravel Hurt is a free PHP development environment for Windows and for macOS and it basically manages everything you might need for a PHP application. In our case, we will make use of the built-in Nginx server. It's important to say that you don't need Laravel Hurt to run Kirby, but I can recommend it as an excellent tool to do so. Let's choose the starter kit. If you already use Laravel Hurt, this button will directly open up the application. If not, you need to download and install it first. The application will prompt you with the next steps. And the next steps are very easy. We need to define a name for our project, which will be the local domain name as well. We can choose a folder where to install our source files and check whether we want to initialize a Git repository. And within seconds, our Kirby starter kit is being downloaded and we have a local domain ready to be opened up in our browser. Wow, this is the Kirby starter kit. As mentioned, it comes with a predefined front end and demo content. So nice. Let's open it up in our code editor. The folder structure is pretty self-explanatory. The front end assets are located in the assets folder. Our content lives in the content folder and everything that belongs to Kirby itself is placed in the Kirby folder. The media folder will hold our generated assets like image thumbnails and to modify our installation, we work in the site folder. To get more familiar with the folder structure, I can recommend you the guide linked below. Since Kirby is a flat file CMS, we can directly interact with the content as well. Let's take a look at the content folder. Every page is represented as a folder and all content for that particular page is placed inside that folder. You can find all those beautiful photos of trees here as well as some text files which hold the textual content. If we want we can directly modify the content here and that will work fine but there is a way more comfortable way to do so. And that way is the panel. You can reach the panel by pointing your web browser to yourdomain.test slash panel. Since we haven't used the panel in this project before, we need to create our first user. For security reasons, this will be disabled on public servers by default. So let's input our details. Once we have done that, we are looking at the dashboard. With one click, we are back at our trees again. And now we have a beautiful interface to modify our page. Let's update the subline real quick. Once we save our change, we can see the updated front end. Very cool. Now we want to modify the output. Kirby uses different approaches to render content on your pages, but templates might be the most common. Let's open up the site folder and navigate to templates. Let's have a look at our photography template. This PHP file is directly linked to our photography page by the file name. As you can see, the text file in our content photography folder has the same name. On each template, we can use the $page variable, which always references the current active page. We can use different methods to get our content or, as in this case, get all child pages and list them as projects. Here we can easily add our own markup or modify the existing. 
like making these images square. Now reload. Nice. You can work on your website locally as long as you want. There are no limitations in the software. And when you're ready to launch, you can buy a license over at getkirby.com slash buy. Once the website is running on its final domain, you can add the license key here in the panel. And now I can only wish you a good time coding your first Kirby website. We have some more videos, a great documentation and awesome guides called cookbooks linked below. Those will get you started with common design patterns in no time. Thanks for watching and happy coding! Did we make it in under five minutes? <laughs>